Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour. On this video we're going to be doing the tour Ancient Egyptian Fashions. And this one is in the daily life category. Okay, here we are on the map in Lake Mariotis. Ancient Egyptian fashions. Number of stations is 10. Learn about ancient Egyptian fashions. Estimated time is six minutes. Welcome to ancient Egyptian fashions. Learning what life was like for ancient Egyptians presents many differences, and yet also surprising similarities to how people might live today. Understanding the daily lives of regular citizens so many thousands of years ago is ultimately what connects us as human beings. Jewelry was a popular item among ancient Egyptians of all social standing. Both men and women wore earrings, rings, and bracelets. Status determined how much jewelry a person wore and what it was made of. Common folk wore pearl necklaces, simple bracelets, and leather bangles. Brightly colored earthenware and glass paste were a favorite enhancement. The jewelry of the elite was made from gold, silver, and other precious stones. Because gold never lost its shine, it was considered akin to the flesh of the gods. Wide jeweled collars were a favorite. Made with rows of beads formed into patterns of animals or flowers, the soft chiming sounds they made were thought to appease the gods. Though idealized, tomb paintings are a catalog of the changing fashions of ancient Egypt from the Old to the New Kingdom. Egyptians took appearance and cleanliness very seriously and were diligent about their fashion, hair, and jewelry as well as their grooming habits. The fabric of ancient Egyptian clothing was almost entirely made from various grades of linen. Linen was commonly white, draped over the body, and cinched at the waist, though some garments were sewn or tailored. Wealthy men wore long tunics, loincloths, or kilts, while poor men only wore loincloths. Women wore long dresses, with differences residing in the quality of the fabric, depending on social status. Egyptians commonly went barefoot, but could also wear sandals made from papyrus fiber or leather. <laughs> Cosmetics, including concoctions to prevent body odor and bad breath, were an integral part of everyday life for Egyptians. Used by both men and women, cosmetics were used as moisturizing ointments and sun protection as much as for beautification. Red ochre, a natural clay, was the most readily available cosmetic to tint lips and cheeks. Henna was used on nails and lips and as hair coloring. It was also favored by richer women to decorate their palms and the soles of their feet. Egyptians believed coal had magical powers, wearing it as black eyeliner to protect their eyes from the sun and to prevent eye infections from particles in the flooded Nile River. 
A special green coal made from ground malachite was worn for ceremonies and religious rituals. Women and teenage girls wore their hair long and often braided. Wealthier women included carved combs or hairpins. The length of men's hair rarely dropped past the shoulders. They were mostly clean shaven during the dynastic period, a trend began by the elite and soon adopted by the general populace. Queen Hatshepsut donned an artificial beard when she became pharaoh. Wigs were very popular, used for special occasions or to conceal gray hair or baldness. They were fastened in place with beeswax. The most expensive wigs were made from human hair and reserved for royalty. Other wigs were composed of linen, wool, or animal hair. Prepubescent children generally had their heads shaved. Young girls kept some strands intact, while young boys had a braid worn on the side. And that is the end of the tour. Let's take a look at our remaining tours. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.